The AMCA program is set to receive a locally designed and developed radar nose cone that will incorporate stealth technology, ensuring that the aircraft maintains a minimal radar cross-section to evade detection and interception by adversaries. The radar nose cone will see use of advanced materials and specially formulated radar absorbent material coating that has been meticulously crafted to absorb electromagnetic waves across a wide spectrum of frequencies. Officials have said that the technology will also be harnessed for the Tejas Mark 1A and Tejas Mark 2 programs and will be manufactured by Indian private sector companies after transfer of technology by Aeronautical Development Agency. Just ahead of its planned user evaluation trials by the Indian Armed Forces, a tapas unmanned aerial vehicle has crashed in agriculture fields near a village in Chitradurga earlier today. Defence officials have said that the drone crashed while it was on a trial flight, and the DRDO is briefing the Defence Ministry about the crash, and an inquiry is being carried out into the specific reasons behind the incident. The Indian Navy chief has said that the Navy is in the process of setting up a special remotely piloted squadron for aerial surface and subsurface drones. The Navy is already in the process of evaluating several autonomous platforms, including the Narakshi Autonomous Underwater Vehicle launched by Guard and Reach Shipbuilders. The manned portable AV has an endurance of 4 hours, and work is underway to enhance its endurance to 12 hours. India is all set to embark on a project to build six next-generation stealth conventional submarines under Project 75 I at an estimated cost of $5.8 billion, and India aims to localize 60% of the submarine's components and technologies, which is much higher than 40% local content in six Calvary-class submarines built under Project 75. Out of the two contenders to Sinkrip Marine Systems and Nivantia, the selected foreign OEM will transfer submarine technology and AIP system to selected Indian strategic partner, and the selected foreign OEM will oversee the construction process and delivery to Indian Navy. The United States has once again extended an offer of its striker fighting vehicles with local production to India. The striker features a 30mm cannon and a 105mm mobile gun, and is suitable for rapid combat reactions. Experts have said that the striker lacks amphibious capability, while local options like wheeled armored platform developed Tato Advanced Systems is fully amphibious, and is propelled by two water jets. The Philippine Marine Corps have received the logistics package for the BrahMos shore-based anti-ship missile system, and officials have said that it will receive the shore-based BrahMos supersonic cruise missile system by December 2023. 21 personnel from the Philippine Marine Corps have successfully completed training in the operations of the BrahMos batteries, and are fully ready to operate the advanced missile system. Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited has issued an expression of interest inviting responses from potential long-term strategic partners to design develop manufacture and supply the Danush-based 155mm 52 caliber mounted gun system to the Indian Army, including potential export opportunities. The Indian Army has an initial requirement for 800 mounted gun systems for high altitude regions, and is looking at evaluating both the TAGS mounted gun system and the Danush mounted gun system, 